Hey, you guys, what's up? I am so sorry. I don't have lighting. I don't have anything. I am in the kitchen. I just got to Florida. I'm cooking. I was watching a YouTuber. I'm going to put his video on the description below so you guys can watch the video. It's a very unfortunate moment for um tati westbrook she had a meltdown she posted a video online talking about the fact that she posted this video today i don't know when it was but she posted a video recently and it didn't make more than ten thousand views in an hour is 87 percent lower views than her regular views at that time period and if you are a youtuber uh you know what i'm talking about but if you're not a youtuber what happens is that youtube gives you analytics and tells you the rank of your new upload compared to your other uploads at that certain hour. So it would rank it from one through 10 and it would tell you what position that video is in, what is the percentage of, you know, view raises, or if you are making more views in that video, if you are losing views on that video at that hour, or if you're just keeping a plateau. But she started talking about the fact that she's not used to this. She's been posting videos for so long. And she's not used to having so little views in an hour. That's not okay. Ring the freaking bell, you guys. That's what she said on the video. It's my fault. It's our fault. It's a, so she's saying that it's our fault because we're not ringing the bell to get notified when she posts. Is that what it is? She's worried that it's going to be the end. And I'm like, what? This is a huge level of entitlement. And don't get me wrong. I had my rant with Tati Westbrook. I addressed it several times in several videos and I said that the only issue I had was because of the delivery and the handling of the returns and the refunds but this video is showing me again the level of entitlement she has with her fame she expects that everybody should be watching her as soon as she uploads and to tell everybody in her video and I'm not gonna quote because I don't remember I only watched the video once but to say that we should ring the freaking bell because she didn't get enough views to her liking. And then she put the video on private and contacted YouTube because the problem is not her. The problem must be YouTube, not her content that she posts three, four times a week, makeup from pharmacy. And don't get me wrong, I don't have an issue with the makeup from pharmacy because most of us cannot afford to be buying Jeffree Star palettes every six months or what's the name of the other YouTuber Jaclyn Hill and Huda and all of these you know more expensive spectrum so I appreciate her videos but there's only so many pharmaceutical makeup videos you can make that will draw the views so instead of her thinking hey guys let me put a poll here. Let me post something on Instagram. Let me ask my viewers what's happening, why they're not watching this particular video. Everything seems like to be the same title over and over and over and over again. But I just think that she handled it very poorly. It just sounded very entitled that she be saying that guys ring the bell. This never happened to me. It must be a YouTube issue. And she's calling YouTube to ask them what's going wrong with her channel. Instead of looking into herself, she's trying to blame everybody else around her. She's been showing that kind of behavior for a little while. Her issue with James Charles. I was on her side when James Charles' situation happened. And I was like, she is so nice. She helped James Charles so much. The Blendiful situation happened and I was like, hmm. All of these people having their Blendifuls ripped. And it was everyone's fault but the products, which I understand. She's standing behind her product. I get it. It's not a bad product at all. It doesn't work for me when it's washed, but once it's a little dirty, it works for me just good. It's fine. But for her to post a video every single time she has a drama or a meltdown or an issue saying that it could be anything else but her, her product, her content that is a level of entitlement that i'm not ready to accept and it's a little sad because you have so many millions of subscribers watching this and you're just enabling all these young people that are watching you to say hey i have a following therefore they need to do what i tell them because you're telling people hey guys freaking ring the bell button so you know when i'm posting so you can watch it you're not entitled to this views you're not entitled to the views you're entitled to nothing 
You know, you're not entitled to the views. The people watch you because they love you. The people watch you because you are good at what you do. And I am being truthful here. I'm not being sarcastic at all. And I apologize that I'm shaking the camera because I'm holding it on my phone. But if people don't want to watch you, they're not, you're not entitled for them to watch it, even if they subscribe to you. Bottom line here is it just hurts me and it just makes me so sad that a YouTuber that's so successful like her, so respected, is losing the respect of a lot of people because of the entitlement that she's been displaying lately with her product, with her friends, with her subscribers now, because this is about the subscribers and I'm a subscriber to her. I love her. I, I use her techniques. I'm using her palette right now. This on my face, this is Tati, Tati Westbrook's palette right on my face. Love it. I love it. I love her. But I am sad to say that I am considering unsubscribing to her and trying to find a new Tati for myself because I can't deal with the fact that the responsibility for her actions are not taken. I've been doing YouTube videos. I've been in this cyclone of... I am filming two, three videos today and editing for the rest of the week and trying to upload and schedule as much as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm doing this. She's been doing it for 10 years, so I can't relate for the amount of time that she's been doing it. But I understand in a small spectrum or a small scale what she's going through, and I understand how hurtful it is. But the first thing you should look into is yourself, not your subscribers just because you know that they're going to watch your video, your your Instagram live or your Instagram stories and they're going to like answer to you like, oh yeah, I'm going to ring the bell. You should look into yourself. You should make some polls. You should ask your guys, I feel like, am I letting you guys down? Again, I, I, I could relate a little bit. It's a lot of work to be editing, to be making thumbnails, to be like putting description boxes. And it's a whole lot of work. It takes days to edit one video. It takes hours sometimes. My rant for the Tati rant that I posted, I saw the video at 10 or 11 in the morning whenever she posted it, and I uploaded the video at 10 at night. I filmed, I edited, it, and I made a thumbnail in like eight, nine hours. So I know that it takes a while, and it takes a lot of work, especially when you're posting, especially when you're posting three days a week, but still does not give you entitlement to say that your subscribers should be ringing the bell and watching you. It does not give you the entitlement to call YouTube and say that something is wrong with their algorithm. It's not you. I'm very disappointed at Tati. Every single time that I watch her meltdown, rant, or whatever, I just see entitlement written all over her. Uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of people coming after me after this because I did get one guy after me on my first rant, and I know that this is going to ruffle some feathers but again i can't be quiet about things that i feel that they are not right and i don't feel that she handled herself correctly in this past video and i hope and i hope she recovers from it because she's a great youtuber she's a very respected name and i do not have anything personal against her and i actually root for all the youtubers that i watch but she is getting herself into trouble she needs to get back up from this hole please post down in the comments if you guys have any ideas or any suggestions or what do you think she, she should be doing to get herself back into the good graces of her subscribers but if you guys new here thank you so much for watching i hope you consider subscribing i post videos every sunday and wednesday so tomorrow there is a video and i'll see you guys tomorrow on that upload like the video if you like this content and i'll see you guys on the next upload Bye, guys. I'm so sorry. I just, I can't. Like, she's... Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.